I know God saved me for a reason, but I guess I'm still searching for what that reason is. Too much blood of Christ. It's a miracle. Beavis, we gotta find something that floats and get in that river. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> hmm. Something that floats. Whoa, whoa, check it out, butthead! Beavis, this is our lucky day. <laughs> Sydney Sweeney seems to be having a banner year so far, with a massive hit like Anyone But You earning bank at the box office, and even with flops like Madam Web, Sweeney seems to be everywhere, and now her latest film Immaculate is out. But can Sydney Sweeney do horror? And how good is this movie? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive into the world of Immaculate and its many secrets. There's been quite a number of religious horror movies coming out in the past year. The Pope's Exorcist, Deliver Us, The Nun 2, Consecration, and The Exorcist Believer were just a few of the religious horror movies we got in 2023 alone. And now we're getting our first one of 2024 in Immaculate. The movie stars Sidney Sweeney, who seems to be everywhere these days, flaunting her, uh, assets. It's actually pretty funny she plays a nun in this movie, yet still manages to show off her rack. Hey, I'm not complaining, the more the merrier. The movie's plot is pretty simple. Cecilia, played by Sydney Sweeney, goes to Italy to join a convent for nuns. She's a newly minted sister in the church, and so she has to go through all the rituals of becoming ordained in the church. But when she first arrives, strange things begin to happen around the convent. She sees cloaked nuns with red masks, including one weird old lady who's just chilling on the floor of the basement in some weird ritual. This same nun also cuts off Sweeney's hair when she's asleep for some reason. As the days pass, more strange events begin occurring until Sweeney finds out she's pregnant. This is impossible as she claims she's a virgin. Yeah, and I'm Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny rolled into one, but whatever. Anyway, the convent's doctor examines her and sees that she is indeed pregnant, so they go through a battery of tests to see if she's really a virgin. But is there a darker conspiracy brewing? I won't go into spoilers here, but suffice it to say, the twist was pretty predictable, as was the ending. This is your generic religious horror movie, but it does come with a pretty tight plot, efficient writing, and quick resolution. There's no girl boss or progressive messaging other than the standard religious horror veiled criticism of the Catholic Church. That criticism is pretty much a dime a dozen in these films, and this one doesn't really add much to the argument. The acting is passable, but I couldn't really take Sidney Sweeney seriously in the role of a nun. She puts out a good effort, though, for such a young actress. The more varied roles she takes, the better. Her role on Euphoria, Anyone But You, and Madame Webb were all pretty different from one another. So the more practice she gets, the better range she'll be able to develop. But one thing that bothers me about her is her face. She looks like she's consistently high in all her roles. I'm not sure if that's acting inexperience or if she really smokes a shitload of weed. But her face always has that same flat, stoned look to it, which is what prevents her from being believable in the role of a nun in Immaculate. 2024 has been a pretty dry year as far as major hit releases are concerned. The only truly breakout successful film we've gotten so far has been Dune Part 2, and I can't say Ghostbusters Frozen Empire really did much to remedy the situation, but neither did Immaculate. When I went to see this movie, I went movie hopping for a triple feature. I saw Immaculate, Arthur the King, and Ghostbusters, and out of the three, I would say that Immaculate did have the most cringe stuff. For example, the very beginning of the movie shows a nun trying to escape the convent and then gets buried alive in a wooden coffin. This scene hit for me because when I was really little back in Argentina, my mom and sister watched this telenovela where in the final episode of the series, the bad guy is buried alive in a coffin, expecting someone to come get him and they never do. Seeing this as a five-year-old scarred me for life. Any scene showing someone being buried alive in a coffin, I see as pretty disturbing. But I'm sure the filmmakers didn't put that in just for me. Another scene that I deemed a little unnecessary was the priest in the confession booth pulling out his nails. Gross for sure, but what was the point? I guess the filmmakers needed to spice up the otherwise bland horror in the movie up to that point. 
There were a couple of jump scares that legitimately got me, but overall this movie was pretty tame for a horror movie. Sydney Sweeney may have some horror acting skills, but they definitely weren't apparent in this film. The performances out of the other actors were also pretty forgettable and the main villain of the film wasn't too difficult to overcome for Sweeney. At the very least, this movie didn't really linger more than it needed to. There could have been a few things they could have taken out, but the movie was already short enough with its 89 minute runtime. Overall, Immaculate is yet another generic bland religious horror movie. It doesn't add anything new or innovative to its plot devices or character arcs. Sydney Sweeney puts in a passable performance. Perhaps she should stick to other genres or more damsel in distress roles in slasher flicks. But what do you guys think? Did you enjoy Immaculate? And what do you think about Sydney Sweeney as a horror actress? Please do let me know down below in the comments. And as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.